Hey guys, this is the Duda 2, and this is my second part of my um, handicap uh, advice, I guess, go video. Um, before I talked about different um, strategies for weaker players to fight stronger players to make their, I guess, make their job a lot harder. Um, well, here's a game I played with um, Champion Go. It's the strongest go program for the droid. Um, it's, I mean, it just, on the higher levels, it just absolutely demolishes me. But I used some of my handicap strategies that I talked about in my last video, and I got a win. I forced it to resign, which is pretty tough to do. Um, this is playing it on its toughest difficulty. I'm going to go over the game and give a real brief what I was thinking. Um, those of you who are uh, up there in rank, you'll see a lot of mistakes I make. But I'm still able to win, and if anything, that should prove the uh, effectiveness of, uh, uh, you know, in theory, of my uh, advice that I followed and gave out in my last video of different things to try. So uh, <clears throat> I'm going to start with a it's a nine stone handicap game. I'm playing against a computer, and uh, hopefully I can. Do this video in one part. I'm gonna try. So wish me luck. Little dog hair. Okay, um, so this is it. White plays right in here. In which case I strengthen this corner. White jumps up. I strengthen this corner. Remember I talked about the corner strengthening. White jumps down. He probably figures he's splitting me up. I'm going to strengthen this corner. So he jumps underneath here. I know people are probably like, what are you doing? And I cover this corner. Uh, but just following that strategy that I showed before. White's going to play here. Remember that? White jumps out here. I'm going to jump up here, presses up, I press up, what I'm thinking is this is mine, and I have at least as much as him, that's what I'm thinking anyway. Um, White's going to jump under here, typical response, at least for me, White pulls back, and uh, I'm going to cover any cutting points, ensuring my life. It's going to push up again, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, I play here, okay. Um, White's going to continue pushing up around, in which case I'm going to just let him, I'm sorry, I played here. White pushes up, I push up again, and you're supposed to always push on the fourth line, and this is the fifth line, so uh, let him do it, I figure. Pull up to here. I was hoping he'd pull up here so I can do here, but he's a little smarter than that. He wants to jump ahead of me, so he plays here. And now that I see no uh, major sente moves that I have to answer, I play there, continuing with my strategy. White continues with his strategy of surrounding my center stone, uh, in which case I see there's a lot of power here. So what I do is I play here. Uh, this would probably be safer, but what the heck, you know, I'm ahead, uh, I got the strength, I figure let's do it. White's going to jump over here, putting the stone in uh, trouble. So I'm just going to continue with my strategy. Why not? White's building up strength so he could attack one of the sides. Uh, I play a little more conservative on this side. I figure I'll go a little further out, a little more conservative. Uh, we'll see what one I like better, is what I'm thinking in my head. Remember, this is slightly experimental. Uh, it's going to attempt to push underneath. It makes me stronger. Uh, it's going to push out here. I just ignore that, and I play here. I figure uh, a type of capping move. I figure he's going to try to jump down and force me, so I just kind of snuck a little couple extra points in there. Uh, White is still focused on securing its center so it could attack and I just let him do it. I jump right here with my uh, uh, stone. 
Now, I'm, I'm sure by now White realizes he's really, really far behind. And he's got a lot of work to do. So we're going to see right now he's going to lay on. He built his foundation. He's going to lay on the attack. And you'll see how strong this program really is uh, going forward from this point. Uh, White's going to do a one-step approach. I'm going to secure my area up here. Uh, White sees a weakness. He jumps up. I block. I'm pretty happy with this result so far. White's going to jump in here. Uh, you know, uh, I'm going to respond to try to keep him out. Uh, White jumps up, I'm making good shape. Remember the shape from uh, Good Shape, Bad Shape video? Uh, I'm going to play here. White's pushing up. I definitely don't want him up in there. about a cut. I figure I could play extra safe because like I said I'm way ahead. Uh, White's going to cut here and I now realize some of my errors. Uh, I'm trying really hard to save this but White don't even care. So this is probably my first big mistake. White just pushes right through like it's nothing. Um, and then I continue with my blunder thinking that I would be able to do this because uh, of this cutting point I have protected. But White just puts the swamp on me. Uh, I'm gonna put his stone in Atari, force him to take mine. It's probably another mistake. I'm going to now start to protect this area. Uh, hoping I was hoping to get back here. And uh, I figure the least I could do is block this. And White plays up, sees a weakness right here. I mean, it's just awesome. Awesome move. Uh, something I would have never thought of uh, until I saw it. And White just, he knows he's connected because of this, uh, you know, issue. If I block down here, he thinks he can do something. So, uh, like an idiot, I'm kind of responding to his stuff, thinking I can... You know, do some do some nice stopping, but I figure uh, I'm getting a little worried. And now, of course, look what White does. Pow! Right in that key spot. So I'm losing something. Uh, so I figure let's play it as safe as possible. Uh, White, of course, pushes in. So I'm going to put those two stones threaten. White's going to take this again and I'm just going to block him right off in which case white decides now it's the time to take this probably for life and he's no longer threatened but I block him off anyway and with these three stones in trouble white answers I'm playing down I'm figuring he still don't have quite have life here, and I want to at least pressure him and force him to kind of move down, hopefully building my territory, which seems to be working. I see he's got his one eye right there for sure, but I still want to put some pressure. This was probably a bad move because this gave White his second eye, but I don't really care right now. I'm building my building my land, and this was part of my plan, so I'm trying to stick to it. White pulls a nice little one space jump, making this shape again, which has been my bane. But I figure I'm going to push through and try to force him to answer, which he does. So evidently my pushing was a good idea. And I see cut points, but I'm not even worried about it. Like I said, I'm ahead. My job is to maintain the lead. White's going to push out from here, making this shape, which is pretty common and strong. So I'm going to try to mess with that shape a little bit by pushing through. White answers here, which is one of the reasons why the shape is so strong. And then I see my stones are starting to get a little funky with cuts and such. So I play it safe. When you're ahead, you can play safe. Uh, just don't play so safe that you don't fall ahead. But this is another part of my strategy with these uh, stones here. I figure I'd cap them just like I capped down here. It seemed to work so far. White sees a weakness with this horse jump right in here. I figure I'm not answering that. 
because I know what he's going to do. He's going to jump in. So I play here. White plays over. This may be my second mistake. Let's see. I'm playing over here. White plays over again. I'm playing down. I figure that's pretty safe. White does a nice horse's side attachment here. I'm sticking with my strategy. I figure he'd have to answer that, and he does. He pulls down. I'm going to fill in here. I figure that's the safest move. I figure white's going to go around, which he does. And then I play right there. White doesn't care. He jumps straight in, which I believe is not a good move. But who am I, right? I'll put these two stones in, in deep trouble. Which later on he's going to come back and save those little suckers. Which is going to frustrate the heck out of me. But once again, I got a nice territory, but look, he's building a nice territory too. Very strong computer program. He doesn't like me, the idea of me pushing, so he blocks that. Which I figure gives me a nice opportunity to try to cut down here. And then I was going to kill here and cut here. But, again, a mistake. I did that too soon. I should have waited until I got here and then did it and see, you know, let him choose what to save. But uh, just out of pure jerkness, I decided to take this. I probably shouldn't have. Uh, but White doesn't even seem to care. White just plays down here, which I should have blocked. So I figured now I'm going to put these two stones in trouble so that my first move wasn't worthless. Actually, let's go here. And now that forces White to take this. Now that allows me to return here. So it worked not too bad for me. And I wanted to I don't want to block here because it keeps jumping in my weak spot, so I figure this is stronger. And once again, White keeps on plowing forward. I figure this would be the strongest block. And White's well, jumping down in my land, which is frustrating me, but instead of pushing through, I'm going to block here and at least get some territory. White does a horse jump here. Now I'm thinking, cut this guy off, but then I realize I'm kind of weak over here. How did that happen? I must not have stuck to my plan like I should have. So now I want to try to get a connection and cut him off. Uh, but it seems like he doesn't even care. So I'm going to take the connection. You know. Well, let's battle it out here. I'm still ahead. But White's going to really put some pressure on these two stones. So I'm going to try my best to save them. And of course, he, I don't believe, is going to let me. So I'm playing here. I figure I could spend a few more moves trying to save them. But White is going to be sure that that just doesn't happen by playing up. My stones are effectively cut off. But I'm going to try something just in case he's got some type of other strategy. I figured I'd exhaust all my options because I still think I'm quite a bit ahead. Alright, now I'm going to attack the weakness of this group. Uh, whether it's a good idea or not, I'm not sure, but I think I kind of have these groups better than he has me. So this, I think, is probably in theory a good move anyway because it forces him to play here. And then I'm worried about some type of little side attachment, so I don't want that, so I play there. Good move, I don't know. Good move or not. White's obviously concerned. He's trying to slip underneath. In which case, I'm going to force him to answer first. But White plays here. This type of stuff's freaking me out. I don't like it. I'm going to fill in. And White's playing up here. Possibly to stop me from moving. Possibly, I mean, he's eliminating my liberties quicker than I'm eliminating his. So, this is probably an error in my case. I'm playing here to try to get a capture. Uh, that would be very nice for me right now. But, of course, I'm not going to let me do it. Uh, I'm playing up. I'm trying to gain some liberties so that I can attack this white group. It's probably a bad idea because I believe I was ahead. And now I'm for sure behind. This is my big mistake in here. Why I played this, I don't know. Believe it was a good move. Now you can start to see. Now you're seeing these. Yeah, I'm making some really big mistakes, and uh, I'm still ahead. 
hopefully this shows uh, the strength of my strategy here. Now I'm thinking it's time to start attacking, if I remember my thinking correctly. Yeah, white's gonna, it's gonna block off, block off here. Now I'm gonna fill in. Shouldn't have done that. And now white's playing here. And uh, I'm playing up here. I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna be able to fight and break through. Uh, but really he's just baiting me. here, threatening this, threatening this whole group here. Uh, now one thing to know about this game, I played this game while on the assembly line. I work at General Motors. Uh, so I don't have a lot of time to think about my moves in my defense. I kind of have to play a couple moves before, uh, you know, a couple moves before the, the next car comes around. I really only got about 20 seconds of play time in between cars and that is not very good. I'm working on doing a surround. Again, probably not a great idea. I was hoping to cut this off. Um, pushing on down. White pushes over. I'm pushing in. I figure if I lose them, not a huge deal. White cuts me off. I'm pulling right up here. Trying to, two more. But of course, it's connecting here, which means I should probably have not done that. But once again, I'm a newbie here. It's a good test for my Fuseki. And at this point, when I blocked him off there, uh, he resigned, uh, showing evidently. He thought I would be able to pull this off and live, probably from taking this or continuing to push down or something with all these uh, takes here. I should be able to make life, he thinks. He's got these white stones. As, actually, that's just it. He's got these white stones as dead. And as soon as I played here, uh, my last move effectively killed these white stones in, in the computer's mind. And he resigned at that point. Uh, he gave me a lead of 43 points. So. Um, this is an example of my poor playing. Once again, I'm not the best player to begin with, but I was playing in between cars uh, on an assembly line with a computer on my uh, tablet. And uh, it just shows the strength of the opening pattern that I played allowed me to pull off a win against a far superior opponent. So uh, with just a little bit of common play sense and a good opening pattern, you could really make a stronger player's life a lot more difficult. And that is what we want to do as a weaker handicap player. I hope this helps. Uh, once again, try not to be too harsh on my playing style because I'm not playing at my best. I'm under a lot of pressure trying to get my cars built with the good quality that General Motors builds their cars and, uh, you know, tear it up with the go. So uh, I appreciate any uh, comments, any feedbacks. Um, hope this helps somebody. Let me know what you think. Um, I'm curious uh, what my audience thinks about this. Thank you. Uh, have a good day.